hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a video about these babies here these are the jane davenport mermaid markers now um if you guys aren't familiar with these i did do a haul um on my channel these are water brushes filled with pigment they're by an artist by the name of Jane Davenport, who is awesome. Um, she's a mixed media artist, and she's so lucky to have her own art supplies line featured at Michael's. Um, these are regular price $39.95. Guys, utilize Michael's coupons. Um, I believe I got these for half off for 20 bucks, which for me was a really good deal because... After the ink is all gone, which I'm so scared to lose all this ink, to use up all this ink, um, you can actually refill them with your with other inks, or you can use them as water brushes. So today I'm going to be talking about the different ways that you can use these beautiful mermaid markers. These are the swatches that I made in my haul. They have the cutest name, Seaweed, Siren, Byron Bay, Blue Bottle, Deep Sea, Jellyfish, Pirate's Gold, Lobster, Starfish, Coral, Beach, and Reef. So yeah guys, let's go ahead and get into this video demonstration. So I already sketched out a mermaid. Alright, so the first way that I use my mermaid markers is just by, hmm, I'm trying to think what color, sorry guys, I'm going to keep my picture here as a reference, I'm trying to think what color I want to use first. So let me go ahead and get into, let's make her hair red, we'll use a lobster. So the first way of how to use these is by using it regularly. So when you just want to squeeze it maybe once, guys, a little bit of ink goes a long way. So the first way is by just regularly using it like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and block in so I'm just giving it a slight push when I want to get some more of that ink out all right so this is the first way to use your mermaid markers. Alright, second way to use the mermaid markers is by washing over them. If you guys are not familiar with water brush pens, I suggest you get familiar with them. <laughs> They're the bomb. Um, these are great for traveling. All it is is a paintbrush that has a water compartment here that you squeeze and the water comes out. So, second way is washing over these mermaid markers with water to create washes. And guys, again, a little bit goes a long way with these markers. So I'm just going to go ahead and 
wash over some of these. So I'm pushing, squeezing the barrel to let that water flow. Guys, hopefully the background is not too loud. I've been waiting for my baby to fall asleep. But he's being really stubborn today. He doesn't want to go to bed. So I had to put on a movie for him. He's over there watching Madagascar. Alright, so I'm just washing over... And I'm going to go ahead and mix a little bit of starfish in there. So I'm giving it a pump. If you guys have a set of these mermaid markers and you guys have some other ways that you want to share that I don't mention in this video, please feel free to comment below. I'm sure other artists would love to see different ways to use these. If you have a set, Tell me how you guys like them. I love them. I'm just so scared to use. I'm not scared to use them, but I don't use them that much because I just, I'm just paranoid that I'm gonna use all my ink up, which is silly. I'm hoping that Jane comes up with a set of refills. She starts selling like refill inks. That'd be cool. All right, so I'm just spreading that color. Mixing that color. You see how the pretty that red and pink is mixing? Alright, let's do this side. Guys, hopefully this video won't be too long. You guys can always feel free to fast forward, skip ahead, what have you. But I just really wanted to show some people some real time demonstration of how to use these. That pink is so beautiful. Starfish, look at how gorgeous it is. Alright, so I'm just mixing all this. So you can see here where it's really dark, you got to be careful not to push it too much unless that's the look that you want to get. But like I said before, a little bit goes a long way. Like here, look at how it's still really, really picking to the red. So I'm just spreading that out. Alright, I think that's good. Alright, so that was the second way that I use the mermaid markers. Alright guys, so the third way of how to use your mermaid markers is to use it as a watercolor. So here I have 
This is kind of wet. I don't want to sit it on there. Excuse my palette, guys. I wonder if I'm the only artist whose palette looks like this. I love to peel the paint off of this when it gets... I let it get, like, really built up. And I just peel it off. Okay, so... Third way of how to use the mermaid markers is to use it as watercolor. So... I'm going to go ahead and just do a couple drops in this palette. Let me grab a wipe to make sure there's no dust in here. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe out this palette. So again, a little bit goes a long way with these guys. They're so pigmented. So I'm just going to go ahead and do two drops, maybe. There goes one. There goes two. Two drops. Maybe even three. Get the rest of that excess off. You don't really want to leave these. See, look. A lot of it poured out. This is a lot. But I'm going to make sure that I utilize it. So I like to rub the tip against this so that it's not a lot here and doesn't leak everywhere all right so I'm gonna go ahead and dilute some of this so I'm gonna grab a little bit put it here and I'm just gonna add drops of water And I'm just going to use it as a watercolor. So that's too light for me. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more pigment. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and just lay a wash over all the skin. I'm going to use this as a skin tone. You guys, I poured way too much in this palette, if you can see. So just be very careful when you're squeezing your mermaid markers, you do not want to waste any of that ink. Alright. See, so that's reactivating the hair. That's fine. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in the arm. Being careful not to touch this here. See how this is starting to bleed? But that's fine. I'll actually pick up some of this and use for the cheeks. Give her a little blush. See that? Put a little bit of blush on her shoulders. That's too much. Work. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe off my brush. And I'm just going to add more pigment to that so I can add in some shadows
have some shadows there, the forehead under the hair. All right. So what number are we on? That was a third. The next. technique or what have you I want to show you guys when using these mermaid markers I encourage you to mix colors so hmm, there's not really a brown in this set which I don't want any brown anyways I'll use some of the jellyfish so I'm just gonna squeeze little bit there see in one squeeze look at all that it produced there's still a ton coming out so I'm gonna go ahead and mix let's see what happens if I mix some of this purple this um, jellyfish with the Byron Bay. I'm expecting it to give me like a brownish color. Let me add some more. There we go. Add this beach color to that. There we go. So a real pretty brownish tone. I use that to define these shadows. How could I forget to fill in the stomach part? Why didn't you guys tell me? Alright. So let me go ahead and fill in that stomach with the beach. Filling that stomach. Let me add some shadow under here. And there, in the middle there, to give it depth. All right. If you guys get these harsh lines here, just blend it out with water. That's what I love about these water brushes. They're just, they don't make a mess. So convenient. So I'm just rubbing that line. I don't want any harsh lines on the skin. Right. let's mix another color let's see what happens if we mix 
Byron Bay with a little bit of the seaweed. So here's Byron Bay. Oh, look at all that. Whatever, I gotta use it. Guys, be careful when you pour this out. I know I keep saying that. Maybe I'm just being... Over paranoid or whatever. I just hate to waste my ink. Alright, so we'll mix that with some of this seaweed. And we'll see what color we get. what color we come up with. It's pretty. It's like a light turquoise. So we'll use that on the fin. Alright guys, so that's the fourth way that I use my mermaid markers and that's by mixing colors. Guys, experiment with mixing these colors and see what you come up with. Look how pretty. Just add a little bit of that seaweed. All right. All right, so last but not least, let's actually make the choker this color. There we go. All right. Next and lastly, another way that you can use these is by mixing it with gesso or even um, texture paste, modeling paste, what have you. You can use it to color it. It'll give you a soft, like a soft painting, painting, like a paint, pastel. So here I have some Liquitex Basics Gesso. I'm pour a little bit here. And I'm not going to use my water brush for this because I don't want to ruin it. I'm going to use go ahead and use a regular brush. I'm going to grab some water. Sorry guys, I had to move the light for a minute. So I have my gesso here. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a couple drops. Let's do... Let's use Byron Bay. 
and blue bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and put drop of a couple drops of the blue bottle and then a couple of we'll actually use a Byra bib there. So I'm going to conserve this and just go ahead and mix it with the gesso. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's making it a uh, pale blue. I'm going to go ahead and grab all of this. Look at that. We'll have two tones. So beautiful. So I'll use this for the background. And I'll just use it as paint. Paint the background. You guys can also, um, let's see what happens if I lay down, if I go ahead and scribble some on there, and then I take the gesso and just go on top of that. So you guys can do it like that also, you don't have to mix it in here. Look how pretty. If anyone is curious, this is the, um, what I'm painting on, drawing on, is the Jane Davenport watercolor sketchbook. Um, it consists of hot pressed watercolor paper, which has like a smooth, smoother finish to it. It's not very textured. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and just fill that in. I'm going to use up all this. I don't want to waste any of this good stuff. some of this green in there. Let's just do that. Make it look like seaweed or something. So yeah guys, those are the five ways that you can use your mermaid markers. And I'm just going to go ahead and finish off this piece. So right now I'm going straight away with Starfish. I'm gonna put lobster on top. My baby's going crazy over there if you guys can hear. 
and I'm going to use the water brush to spread that out. And I'll let that dry and add in more details. Make sure you guys remember to clean off your brush. I'm going to clean it off on this end. Alright, and I'm going to... Let's use... I want to make this like a pale color. So I'm going to go ahead and drop in some of this starfish. God, that's a lot. <laughs> guys, don't judge me and how paranoid I'm being about this ink. I really should buy a palette for a separate palette to use like one that closes so that if I don't use it I could just go ahead and conserve it and reactivate it because these can be reactivated. Let me get a smaller brush. I'm gonna go ahead and mix the gesso here with some of that. Look at how pigmented that is. And I want that lighter, so I want it even lighter than that. So guys, look at how pigmented that is. Just a drop, look at how bright it is. I want like a pastel color, like a really light. Which this is still kind of dark, but it'll do. I'm going to go ahead and color in these shells. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to let that dry and I'll go in with the ink and add some shadows to that some details. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I hope that it will encourage you to play with your mermaid markers. If you don't have any, get you some because they're really dope. They're beautiful colors. They're very convenient. Great for travel. Alright, so I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to go ahead and add in some details with... Let's go ahead and use Reef. Which is this dark color here. No, I gotta give her a wing. A wing dye. I'm gonna go check on my baby. I think he's going nuts over there. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the brow. And I love the um this brush. You can get like really thin or thick lines. Look at how thin those lines are that I'm getting. You guys probably can't even see that. So, practice guys. Practice with this brush. If you press down harder, if you apply more pressure to it, you'll get thicker lines. 
If you use just the very tip, you'll get thinner lines. Guys, I'll be back. I gotta check out my baby. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Um, so I'm gonna activate this and add some shadow with just water using the water brush. I'm going to go ahead and deepen some of these shadows. She's coming out really pretty. Um, I'll add a little bit more of this reef. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and use this. I think this is a starfish that I poured. And I'm just going to deepen some of these shadows. I actually want to add some more reef in there. Yeah. So I'm not squeezing anymore. I'm just using what's already on there. And I'm going to spread this out. Alright, so let me go ahead and spread that out with a water brush. Somehow this turned into a <laughs> drawing tutorial. But I just want to show you guys the different ways you can use your mermaid markers and how you guys can be really creative and just come up with a really pretty piece. Alright. So if I wanted I could soften this out, I could put some gesso on top. See what happens if I do that. I'm go ahead and use this. I don't want to go to waste. Let's put some of that in here. Mix that. See. Add some highlights. here. I don't want that. Alright. And I'm just going to add some sh um, dimension here and that's it. We'll be done. So I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of this starfish. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to add some shadow to this. And remember here we put the gesso mixed with. Byron. 
and bay and I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze some water out of my brush and spread that out to make it a softer Not so harsh. Alright guys. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um you guys can go farther than this. You guys can add color pencil on top and Add in some details. You can keep layering. You can do whatever you like. But I'm going to stop here. I'm saying I'm going to stop here, but I'm continuing to mess with it. But yeah, guys, I hope again that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you found this helpful or interesting or what have you, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, Make sure that you guys subscribe and not only subscribe, but tap the bell so that you can get notifications of when I upload. Alright guys, again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.